Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Carpo Gaming and another Borderlands 3 video. It's back, ladies and gentlemen. The Mongo is finally back, returning to Borderlands. Now, if you didn't know, Gearbox put out an official tweet letting us know a hotfix is going out today, and with that hotfix, we got the Mongo. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly where you can get this bad boy, and yeah, let's get with it. Now, this does come with the red text, man is a horde animal, which is actually a reference to a quote from Ernest Becker. It goes like this, it is not so much that man is a herd animal, said Freud, but that he is a horde animal led by a chief. Now, this does come with some lovely stats as you can see right here. We have a 16,100 on this version of the weapon, 79% accuracy, 37% handling, reload speed 4.5, not bad, fire rate 0 0.58, that's terrible, but it makes up for it with having 8 in the magazine. Also 46% weapon accuracy, 302 splash damage, consume 2 ammo per shot, 3.3 on the weapon zone. This version is anointed with some Cairo damage. Now this Vladov weapon can drop in any a different element. Now where can you farm this? Well, you need to head over and farm Trunk and Sloth, which is a crew challenge in Conrad's Hole. So, yeah, how do you get there? Well, from Pandora, you want to head over to Conrad's Hole. Okay, now once you make your way over to Conrad's Hole, you want to head over to the fast travel station to make your way to this custom location. This is where you can farm the boss. Now if you can get it to drop on the first try, good for you. But if not, head over right here. There is where a checkpoint is going to be. We can come back in here and easily farm the boss. Alright, let's head over to Conrad Hole. Now for me, I was doing this on Mayhem Mode 10. And um, it took me quite a while for Guy to get this to drop. Matter of fact, I didn't even get it to drop on Mayhem 010. Like I said, if you don't get it to drop, just head over here and then wash, rinse, repeat. Now, the way I farm is if I don't get it in a certain amount of drops on a certain mode, I just go ahead and switch it up. Now, there is a lot of different weapons that these two guys can drop, such as the pit, so look out for that. But that's not what you're here for. You are here for that new lovely RPG. Now, like I said, I didn't get it to drop on Mayhem Mode 10. I actually got it to drop on Mayhem Mode 6 on my very first try. So about an hour farming on Mayhem Mode 10 and me saying, you know what, I'm about to switch it up. Switch it to 6 and boom, here it is right here. So yeah, let me show you exactly. There it is, Mayhem Mode 6. I know, I know. That's the way I play, and that's how I got this bad boy to drop. Alright, now that you have it, how well does this weapon perform? in the end game. We're going to go into the Trials of the Instinct and Mayhem Mode 10. Let me go ahead and switch this off of 6. Just need to figure out which different modifier that we need. Make sure that they don't have any damage buff and make sure that they're not going to be immune to Cairo. Okay, we're good to go. Now we're back here at the Proving Ground of the Instincts Mayhem Mode 10 with the Mongo. Let's get it on. Fill up that ammo and aim down the sights. As you can see, we're going to fire off these rockets, and yeah, it's rockets on top of rockets on top of rockets. These rockets split into more rockets, and yeah, like I said, having that 8 in the clip, it definitely makes it. I know it says 0.58 on the fire rate, but it fires way faster than that. Let me go ahead. Get some more ammo. Now let's get it on. We're going to jump around. We're going to get these guys into a nice little group. We're going to see just exactly how much damage this weapon is going to do on Mayhem Mode. <laughs> oh boy. It's good. It is really good. The Mongo is back. Yeah, I am happy to say on Mayhem Mode 10, this weapon performs absolutely amazing. Remember, this is a Cairo version. I know, Cairo, Cairo Genesis. I like saying Cairo, like Egypt, just, just the way I like to say it. Now, the Cairo damage on here is just lovely. Now, this is the best weapon to have against these jabbers. They are absolutely take fire damage, but once I flip to the fadeaway, as you can see, yeah, it does absolutely a great amount of damage. So, it doesn't even matter what version that you get. This is an absolute beast. And I will be farming this 
to get one in every different element. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, welcome and don't forget to subscribe. Now, if you would like to help out the channel and the video help the community grow, you can do so by liking the video if you indeed like the video and leaving a comment down below. I answer all of your questions from any game, so hit me up if you have any of them and I'll get to you back as soon as possible. Hope you and your family's having a wonderful day and as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.